Hi YouTube, it's Kyle. Um, I want to make a video today. I wanted to talk a little bit about the disconnect between dentists and their patients getting dentures. Because the majority of information that I've been able to hunt down, to get, to receive, has been through YouTube, has been through New Smile forums, has been through, you know, talking to people that have been through this process of getting dentures. Um, the dentist, the dental technicians, they have no idea what you are in store for. They had no idea what I was in store for. Uh, the information that they give is very vague. They do let you know that, oh, there's a learning curve. It will take time to get used to. You're going to have to eat on both sides of your mouth. But they don't go into the, specif the specifics. Sorry, I'm still having trouble getting used to uh, speaking with these things. Um, but they don't go into the specifics of what the experience will be like, what you need to do to prepare yourself mentally, what you need to do to um, to prepare yourself physically, um, the items that you need to purchase in order to maintain your mouth, to maintain your dentures. Uh, it's all a big mystery, which I don't understand. Um, you know, we're paying anywhere from ten to twenty thousand um, dollars to get these fake teeth in our mouths. Uh, the extractions cost a lot of money for sure, and that's the expertise that we're paying for. Um, and also to put us in contact with people that can make um, a realistic uh, set of teeth for us. At any rate, so I guess what I'm trying to say is why the disconnect? Um, I'm not sure about people that have gone to affordable dentures. Uh, maybe you can leave comments. Uh, let me know if they give more of a tutorial on what to expect when you're getting dentures. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's just really, really difficult to get the information from the people that are actually doing the work. Uh, so thank God out there for all you brave souls on YouTube sharing your experiences. Um, you know, letting us see your teeth letting us know the problems you've had, letting us know the solutions that you've found. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, today is what, day nine? Uh, so a little bit more than a week. Some things that I wish I had known going into it. Well, I wish I had known that things aren't gonna be perfect when you leave the dentist the first time. You're probably going to be really kind of pissed off, um, a little confused, a little sad that your old, rotted out teeth are gone. Because at the end of the day, you knew how to eat with them. You knw how to speak with them. You knew how to deal with them. They didn't look great, but you could feed yourself. Um, these, no. You have all of your teeth ripped from your head. It's not that bad. Um, but then you have a lot of blood, a lot of saliva in there. They slap the immediate dentures in your mouth at that point, put some gauze in, uh, give you a couple of printed off sheets with very vague instructions on how to care for your mouth for the next couple of days and uh, how to care for your dentures. Um, not a lot to go on. Uh, so you leave the dentist, you're a little bit loopy, you're a little bit confused, you can't speak, you can't hold the top denture uh, in your mouth. You're just kind of confused, like, oh no, what did I do? What happened? Why is this uh, going on? Why why don't I have more information? Uh, so that's what this is for, to give you more information. And so what I would suggest is eating a huge meal the night before you go to the dentist. Why? Because the next day you ain't going to feel like eating. You're not going to want to eat. Um, me, they had me fast and not drink for eight hours before going in and uh, having my extractions performed. 
Um, but yeah, I would have had a huge dinner the night before just to get my energy up. Um, I would definitely make sure that you have your insurance in line for your prescriptions that you're going to need after the procedure. Those are going to be very important. That's going to be your um, antibiotics, your um, anti-inflammatory, your major pain control, codeine, Tylenol, or Norco, or Vicodin, whatever it is that your dental practitioner wants to give you for that pain. Have that ready, ready to go. Also, um, buy your items that you will need to clean your dentures. Get a soft toothbrush, get some Orgel mouthwash for the canker sores, for um, you know the little uh, scratches and things that you're gonna get on your gums from having this new foreign piece of plastic in your mouth. Get your uh, cleaning tablets, get your um, your uh, fix-it-in glue, get your polygrip for, for brushing them. Whatever products uh, you think you might need, it's kind of cool. You can go and uh, spend a little bit of money on your new oral hygiene products. Um, Okay, so now you're at home. You've had your extractions. You have these funny teeth in your mouth. Um, you are bleeding. You are changing out gauze, uh, that type of thing. It's not fun. It's not glamorous. You're not going to want to do anything on the day that you get your extractions done, uh, except get to bedtime and find a way to knock yourself out and go to sleep. I can tell you the next morning, much, much better. So, how did the next day go? Woke up. Mm, no bleeding, but there was some slobber with blood in it next to the pillow on the bed, which was kind of, kind of gross. Um, but nothing we couldn't deal with. But the greatest thing was, at that point, the bleeding had stopped. Um... So you could take your teeth out in the morning, can rinse your mouth out with some hot salt water, as hot as your mouth can stand. That's going to help the healing process inside your mouth. Um, and yeah, slap those bad boys in again. Start getting used to holding it in your mouth so that it doesn't slip. Start using the muscles required to hold it in there without glue. Uh, a lot's going to depend on how well your denture was made, um, on the impressions that were made, on um, the person who actually made your dentures. That's going to have a lot to do with how well they fit, um, with how well uh, you're able to deal with them at the beginning. Um, but alas... If they do not fit, if they feel like they hurt, keep them in your mouth. Give it a couple of days. Make an appointment to see your dentist. They have some Dremel tools, and those Dremel tools, when they perform the first adjustment, that's going to be amazing. Um, other than that, um, what kind of things were happening to me? Uh, I didn't really have a lot of dry mouth. Uh, it was kind of difficult to talk. Um, I did have some pain and swelling, which has gone down quite a bit. Uh, sometimes I stare in the mirror and I'm mesmerized by my new teeth. Uh, sometimes I go back and look at my pictures where I'm showing the old teeth that I have. And I can't believe I walked around like that for so long. I was so myopic. I, I, I just... I don't know. I kind of blocked out how bad they look. Uh, if you're interested, take a look at, I don't know, my second video that I posted. Uh, it gives some pretty good shots of those old choppers, and they were kind of gross. Um, cleaning the dentures, you know, um, everything from brushing them, um, from disinfecting them. There's just so many things that as I said at the beginning of this video, that the dentist just doesn't know um, that the people that are in the dentist's office with beautiful natural teeth, they don't understand what we are going through. 
That's why people like me are on YouTube. Um, any questions that you may have, anything that you would like me to discuss in future videos, I would be more than happy to do so. I do kind of ramble a lot. I will try and perfect my speaking style. Uh, but as I said, this is for you. This is for those of you out there that are thinking about getting dentures, that have an extraction day that is already scheduled, but you're scared. Uh, you're kind of on the fence. Do I want to do this? Do I not? Uh, you're scared because you just don't know and people aren't giving you the correct information. Reach out to me. I'd love to help. Um, and as I said, I'm gonna try to get better at this be a little bit more coherent with things I'm talking about. Uh, but thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk soon.